All right, welcome back everyone. So, slightly different video today. I'm gonna to be showing you how I purchased the likes of Bitcoin and other altcoins. Now, personally, I've only really focused on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP. It's not something that I've showcased in the past, and that's also not my goal with this video, but I had to make a video on this because many people are using the likes of Coinbase and those are far too costly for the average trader. So I'm going to be showing you how I trade and it's the platform called Bitstamp. Now before we jump into the video, let's just set our like goal. So hit and generate, we have a goal of 19. So if we can reach 19 likes on this video, then that would be perfect. Of course, if you happen to randomly jump onto this video, I focus primarily on dividend based investing. If you're interested in the content that I supplied, then do consider subscribing. And so jumping back to Bitstamp, this is the exchange that I've used whenever I wanna hold a given cryptocurrency for a long period of time. Now, of course, there's other exchanges out there. This is my personal portfolio, and you can see that I have some Ethereum and Bitcoin. Now, the issue with eToro is that if you wanna move away from the platform and store these within your cold storage, then you have to use the eToro wallet to do so. And so for quick buys and sells, it's totally fine to use the likes of eToro, but just bear that in mind. And so to be fully honest, Bitstamp doesn't have the greatest UI. I'm just gonna log in now. Okay, so first up, I'm just gonna talk about deposit, given that we need a way of taking our funds, whether it's pounds or euros, we need to take that money, which is living in our bank and then move it over into Bitstamp. And so if you click on the bank transfer, we can select the type of currency that we wanna accept funds into. And so if we set the currency, I'm just gonna hit GBP. To make this as secure as possible, on the Bitstamp side, we enter an amount. Let's just say I wanna fund 100 pounds from my bank into Bitstamp. So if I hit continue, this just sets up the process in terms of telling Bitstamp that some money will be sent. We have a unique reference, which you must add as the reference identifier when performing the bank transfer. And so just log into your bank account, add the account number, add the sort code. The name is generally Bitstamp Europe, S.A. You can ignore the rest. You won't be able to pass the name verification if you're using the likes of Nationwide or any other bank, but you must copy this unique reference. This ID is tied to your Bitstamp account. Failure to copy this number, and of course, if you get the account number or sort code incorrect, then your funds could go elsewhere. So I'm not gonna walk you through the process of adding a new payee, but most of you have probably done that in the past anyway. So you have the information here. Once you set that up, and if you plan on depositing more in the future, always check whether your reference is the same. It should be the same, but always double check. And then check the account number and sort code. I found from year to year, these numbers have changed. So you definitely wanna make sure they match, even if you have it set up already. Now, unlike other exchanges out there, we don't have the likes of instant transfers from the bank to the likes of Bitstamp. We do have this manual process. It is somewhat cumbersome, but it's just because you have to be very specific and get all the numbers correct. Now I'm just gonna click on overview. And you can see at the top here, we have the deposit mount credited as GBP and the status is in process. And so if you don't wanna send the funds and I've already sent money, so I'm gonna cancel this process. So deposit has now been cancelled. It just means that Bitstamp isn't going to expect any funds to be added into the account. So once you have all your funds, whether it's GBP or Euros, if we hit on the Markets tab, we can see all the different currency pairings. And so you can see we have Bitcoin to USD, Bitcoin to Euro, and Bitcoin to GBP. And so in the past, it was a really convoluted process just because we never had BTC to GBP pairing. So I'd actually use Bitcoin to Euro. So what I would do is I would use Revolut, which is SCPA enabled. And that just means you can make free deposits. So in the past, I would use Revolut to convert pounds to euros. I would send the money to Bitstamp. I would then convert to Bitcoin. And then I'd move that transaction onto the cold storage. This is made easier because we now have BTC to GBP. And so I don't have to deal with any conversions into euros. Of course, if you hold euros, then just use BTC to euro and it's the same process. And so in my case, I have 450 pounds available. We can already see that we have this fee, which is 0.5%. And then we'll see how much we'll receive in terms of Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is currently losing value at the moment. If you're watching this in the future, it's either gonna be crazy expensive or crazy cheap. Who knows where this is going? 
And so the first thing to call out is that there's a minimum order value that's 25 GBP. So this updates in real time. The fee is already taken away and we can see how much we will get. The markets are moving crazy as I'm recording this. And because it's a small amount of pounds, you can see that we're in decimal position here. I'm just gonna hit the buy just to show the example here. So the order has been submitted. It's currently in the process of executing that order. And so if I click on the account tab, and then if I head over to open orders, we can see that the order has been executed. And so just heading over to the overview tab, we can see how much Bitcoin I have is 0.01. The order that I just made has been added on. So if I go onto the transaction history, we can just confirm how much we have spent. So we've got the dates here. We can see that in terms of the fee, it was just 12 pence for that small order. It's got the actual rate at the time of buying in pounds. And then we've got the actual units, uh, the amount of Bitcoin. And so just hitting on a point that I spoke about earlier, when it comes to the likes of Coinbase, I'm not sure what the appeal is when it comes to this platform. So I'm just on their docs at the moment. So we've got, when we make a standard buy or sell, that is 1.49%. Earlier we saw 0.5% on Bitstamp. Here we're dealing with 1.49%. In terms of transferring money into the account, then that is free. So that ticks the same box as Bitstamp but it's the standard buy and sell. Why you would wanna spend three times the amount that you do when executing the same order on Bitstamp, I'm not sure. As I said, my go-to is Bitstamp. Yes, they have been hacked in the past, but when a platform has experienced that type of problem, they learn to adapt, they're still around, and this exchange has been going on much longer than other companies out there. Now in saying that, if anyone does have any other recommendations for different platforms, I'm always open to the idea. Leave a comment below as to why you use a certain exchange. I know that I've knocked Coinbase quite a lot in this video. If you like using Coinbase, just let me know in the comments below. I'm honestly just curious as to why people want to pay more fees than they need to. Now when it comes to the likes of Bitcoin and all the other altcoins out there, there is massive risk. Price can increase, it can decrease. Only put as much money in as you're willing to lose. And on top of that, you only want to invest in these companies if you believe in the vision. For me, I used to focus heavily on XRP. I no longer believe in their vision. I just focus on Bitcoin and Ethereum. But I only put a small percentage of my overall salary into crypto cryptocurrency and I also don't focus on all the other random altcoins out there just because I don't think they have a future unlike the two that I've mentioned in this video. So I hope you found this video helpful. New videos come out each week. If you are new to this channel then definitely consider subscribing and with that said I'll catch you in the next one.